the second round of the Amber Ramblers. Willie McDonald. And so once again, Jim Bottomley making a, a, another, another high round pick, this time at number three of the second round. And uh, we're going to uh, head back over to uh, Will McLaren and let's uh, join Will with Jim Bottomley once again and talk about the uh, Ramblers' second pick. All right, Jim. Well, uh, focusing on the back end here once again, uh, trying to sort of build the team uh, in your own vision. Uh, what do you expect from your second round pick here? Well, really, uh, really is probably the best skater of all coming out of the uh, major midgets. Quarterback style defenseman that could step right in and play for us. Uh, had a little injury last year and uh, overcome that, but he's highly skilled. First team all star, and he's a player that can really step in and help our, our power play next year. Perfect. And, uh, of course, with, with Amherst still uh, trying to, uh, to build, uh, as we already discussed here, into a bit more of a contending status, which we're expecting this season, how do you expect a kid like that to jockey for position here uh, come camp in September? Well, we're looking at the reason why we picked those two kids right away. We're looking for guys that are going to step in and be with the hockey club for uh, three to four years. And uh, these guys are the type of guys we want. We want to, we've got to have some youth to keep the continuity going throughout the years. And that's the unfortunate thing in the past. Amherst has been strong than not. And now we're going to try to keep the consistency going. So uh, the, he's another player that we're expecting to step in. And uh, I think he'll be uh, one of the top defensemen in the league. All right. Well, thanks very much for this, Jim, and congratulations. Thank you very much. Jeff? Thanks very much, Will. And uh, back here at the panel, Craig Eagles to my right, Troy Dunville to my left. And, uh, it, you know, this is kind of one of these uh, unique situations. Out of the 14 players that have been picked in the in the opening two rounds so far, uh, there's only been two defensemen. That was the uh, second defenseman, Willie McDonald, going to the Amherst Ramblers. And and I guess I'll, I'll throw this one out to you here very quickly, Troy. As a, as a, as a coach slash GM, do you find it easier to be able to find, like, those defensemen out on the free agent market to bring them in? And you'd, you'd rather try to get your hands on those forwards in the early stages? Unless... The defenseman's like a real big standout player? No, I mean, the, the key is defining our, our puck moving knees, which obviously the cue is, is all over as well. Uh, you look at McDonald, that's what he is. He's a puck mover. He only played 19 games last year because of injuries, but was a point per game guy. So him and Brown are both that type of guy. And you look at the importance of power plays these days, you need those puck moving type guys. So that's exactly why they went with Willie McDonald, and he will step in and be a decent uh, power play guy for them. And so this is going to be a uh, Pictou County Weeks Crushers pick uh, at number four of the second round. It uh, is going to be coming uh, via the uh, Yarmouth Mariners, uh, which is also via the Bridgewater Lumberjacks as well. So uh, let's uh, go to the podium and uh, be... Uh, 